Hello everyone, WolfyCast here with a patch notes video. If you weren't aware yet, uh, as of the 7th of June, which was yesterday as of the recording and posting of this video, there was another patch for Gigantic uh, Rampage Edition. A nice patch that had a lot of changes, uh, both, you know, small little things, bug fixes, uh, hero balance. We're going to go over the hero balance in this video I highly suggest uh if you want to see the patch for yourself make sure you check it out of course you can view it anywhere on steam you can view it on the news feed in the discord channel i believe the announcements channel and anywhere else where you get your gigantic news on the platform that you're on first and foremost uh what was changed we're just going to go over the general change first uh increase the summon time for baby creatures from three to five seconds so what this means is not necessarily the animation to summon this channel time is still the same but before the creature fully gets onto the field that time has increased you can see you notice it is actually quite longer all right for the hero specifics we'll start with ashlyn who got it's it's kind of raised under bug fixes but i think that this is actually a huge uh balance change it has been confirmed that her focus is supposed to go where you target it. It is not supposed to have Kator spawn in front of you. It actually spawns where you target it and then generates outward from the center. So that'll launch, uh, slow, deal damage, and weaken everyone that's in that space. It's a really, really nice change. Next for Ezrin, his E now properly interrupts on hit, as it was always shown to be. So this actually works the way it's intended. And for some reason, you may have noticed, it seems to put your Q on a three second cooldown. I'm not sure why that would be the case. I don't remember it doing that in the past, um, but hopefully that gets fixed very soon. For HK, the recoil on his LMB has been dramatically reduced. You may remember from the basics video, just kind of holding your mouse still would have it drift upwards over time. And uh, right now it just kind of does a little kind of janky, small back and forth little nudges. And this is for fortified and unfortified. It's much more noticeable unfortified. Uh, fortified doesn't really change all that much because he already had dramatically reduced recoil. But yeah, this is actually a really big buff for HK. For Imani, uh, the concentration focus talent uh, here on the left side tier two, it's now uh, it is now fifteen percent focus gain instead of twenty percent that has been reduced. Also for Imani, uh, her I believe on the left side here, yep, uh, the blast radius has reduced focus gain, and it also no longer applies burning to area of effect. Anyone that is near each other in the AOE does not get burned it just burns the initial target so as you see that one got burned that one didn't it still took a little bone uh, burst damage uh another thing to note on imani right now i just want to bring this up while we're here uh snapshot seems to have a terrible bug where it's just doing a ton of damage um for some reason the tier two i mean it does show here but for some reason the tier two charges of the of the uh fully dialed in does a ton of damage and it also seems to scale with your boom bolts so that is doing way more damage than it's supposed to that is a bug i'm almost positive that that's a bug uh so if you if you get uh it's just on it's just on the tier one it's just on snapshot Right, lots of changes for Kajir here. First and foremost, uh, fixed with his dodge attack. Uh, this was a bug. That dodge attack was hitting twice whenever you used it in close range. It now only properly strikes once. That was always supposed to be how it worked. Uh, <laughs> striking twice with the dodge attack was 100% a bug. No longer the case. Uh, for an ability, Organ Pierce. Organ Pierce uh, now properly does 36 damage every second for three seconds. It is always displayed that way. It just now does what it's supposed to do. Um, I believe it. I believe it did more originally, but as you can see, it does 36 damage for those three seconds. So that is proper. Kajir's E also got some nerfs. Uh, the Part Two uh, Skeleton Crew now has a shorter cooldown. Um, so that's that's actually a buff. Um, but if you if you summon the clones, it's now a 20 second cooldown instead of 25. The the individual attacks of this of the skeleton crew clones also do less damage. 
uh, went down from 25 to 20. And uh, the copies will now walk and sprint when Kajir does so, which I haven't tried out yet. We're going to try that together. So when uh, when you're moving, yep, so they'll move. The uh, fleeing copy seems to sprint as you do. So that, you know, that's some nice little quality of life changes to make the AI a little harder to, uh, makes it easier for you to blend in with the AI, essentially. And then finally, uh, the dreaded Toxin Shock upgrade. The damage per stack has been reduced from uh, 65, sorry, no, 85 to 60, and now stacks at a maximum of six times instead of seven, which I'm sure is still going to end up doing a lot of damage. But, you know, it is noticeably less. I didn't do that properly, but people that know how to do the full Kajir, like stack all the debuffs and then quickly Toxin Shock, you know how to do it. It does less damage. That's the important thing to know. Quick notes for Margrave. Uh, since he and Imani shared the concentration of Clash, not Clash Allen, uh, Focus upgrade, uh, his has also been reduced from 20 to 15 because it's technically the same upgrade. It's just shared between the two of them. And also it says a bug fix for Margrave, the E-talent not working with specific upgrades, uh, which is impact creator, which increases the area size and uh, gives you a bunch of focus if you hit multiple enemies at once. I honestly did not know this was a thing, uh, but if it works now, then it works. Oru got the range of his of both his LMB and his RMB increased from 18 meters to 20 meters. So you can fire them from or you can hit them from a little bit further. Um, I think that generally this like genuinely I think that this is a strange change because from this distance, like they don't home in. So this is like a this is I guess if you're really, really good with the precision of leading your shots from that distance, then it's kind of OK. Uh, but generally, I don't really think this was needed if they had like if they'd increased the homing distance as well then maybe this would have been a little better but i mean i guess if you're an or main like for sure this is gonna be nice to hit a little further away but since it doesn't help with the homing it just kind of makes it seem a little weird for ramsey the lasting effect upgrade now in has its damage increased from 25 per second to 35 per second so as you'll see, just as six ticks of 35 for Roland, the burning up, uh, burning bullas upgrade on his RMB now does 80 damage per second instead of 120. And Roland's focus has also been nerfed to do a base of 600, 800, and then 1,100 at rank three. Uh, it, it still doesn't say how much damage the burning does. I'm pretty sure it's still 50 across all three ranks and it lasts for like four or five seconds. But nerf pushed in the right direction. Bunch of nice bug fixes for Rucker, starting with his Q, which basically had a problem where the cooldown was increased or it was it was higher than 16 if you had canceled Burrow early, uh, which is no longer the case. My only thought that this is perhaps one of those abilities that kind of was coded to have a longer cooldown depending on how long you were using it kind of like charnock's uh, rmb or margrave's rmb anything like that uh, but that's not fixed it doesn't do that anymore other bug fixes on q the salt the earth salt of the earth upgrade now in, uh, properly restores the amount of stamina it was intended to uh, it said it was restoring more than it was supposed to now it restores the right amount and then for the other side of the same tree, the Burrowed Time upgrade it says now extends the shield regain duration, uh, or sorry, fixed only extending the shield regain duration while not increasing the amount of shield that is restored. Uh, so now it properly gives 100 shields every second for three seconds. And finally, the, mo the most important bug for Rutgers' uh, personal shield, like his passive shield, uh, Fix the shield regenerating immediately while receiving any kind of healing. Uh, so that is now fixed. Uh, it's a little hard to show here in the practice arena, but I assure you, I've faced a couple Rutgers. I've played with a couple Rutgers. I have very much noticed that the shields are not just suddenly spiking a huge shield meters in the middle of, of combat. So that is that's a nice change. Next up is Teamat, who got a similar... Uh, a similar change as Amani did. Uh, the talent that increases the area of effect or gives missiles an area of effect 
No longer applies burning to secondary targets that are near the missiles. It now only applies the burning to the first target. These two Motigas get next to each other properly, then I can show this. So yeah, you see, I was locked on all of them on, on that one. That one applied the, got the burning, the other Motiga did not. So that is a that is also a nice change. Actually a very strong uh, nerf to her because this was probably the go-to talent for everybody. Uh, and this has gotten nerfed. It's still going to be pretty strong because area damage is really nice. Some nice buffs for Bowden. Uh, firstly, the Q talent, or the, the Clash talent. Uh, all upgrades, regardless of which side of the Q uh, upgrade tree you go, will now always fire one extra arrow. So even at the base ability, it just fires a little bit longer, lasts longer. And then, of course, uh, depending if you go Companion's Boon, those arrows will be stronger and then as well the spore imitation which is a tier 2 upgrade on the left side tier 2 or sorry right side then left tier 2 uh the poison spore arrow does now 150 damage instead of 75 so this is actually doubled the damage so now spore imitation will throw big versus poison and then this fellow will fire a lot of extra arrows Normally, he only like before he only fired two. Now he fires three because of the changes to this as well. It also mentioned a bug fix uh, for Voden's recovery time upgrade on his E, which it just the notes just say that it's it fixed not working properly. Um, my only assumption is that it just wasn't lasting the extra second, and now it should last the seven seconds, which is you know pretty nice. One extra second's not crazy but I, i'm sure it's appreciated for those that do go this side of the tree uh still would pick spring cleaning personally but to each their own Wu mains rejoice as the flash e talent tongue tied has been more or less reverted um it now instead of instead of the increased distance that it pulls it's now just a shorter duration uh so the normal duration is or so the normal cooldown is 15 seconds and now the cooldown is 13 seconds uh, and then the post clash increases, just it gives you extra focus when you hit with a tongue. Uh, it also says for the tongue tile, uh, the tongue tied, there are a bunch of fixes where certain upgrades didn't work if you took this clash talent. I know that there was the uh, wet your appetite didn't work. It didn't refresh your cooldown if you took this. So hopefully that gets fixed. Actually, let me let me try that now. We will quickly just do a little, and then pull i didn't oh no i did take the talent so yeah that works as well so that's uh that's some nice changes for the woo players i know that uh i know we were not a fan of the new tongue tide so this is uh this is a big example of them realizing and listening to us and finally we have for zandora uh bug fix rainbow dash not pushing enemies that were um that were yeah not putting push enemies that uh into combat so uh, for whatever reason, uh, Rainbow Dash was not Rainbow Dash was basically not considering enemies in combat. Now it is. It's a little hard to show in this case because that's just a it's just a dummy, uh, but a nice fix overall, I'm sure, for those that enjoy Zandora and the Rainbow Dash upgrade. Um, there are also like other fixes that are in here. There are things such as jump pads not working, uh, some graphic. You know some graphic and and visual errors i'm sure um it says for the rush mode a uh, jump pads back to the airship are now disabled while you're in combat so that's a big change for rush uh also another more important more importantly in my opinion a big change for rush mode it says the clash talents are now working on rush maps for those that didn't know, Clash Talents were only working on the Sanctum Falls version Rush map. Now they work on all of them, supposedly. I haven't tried it out yet because I don't play Rush that much. But uh, that is the changes. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. This was a big, this is a big patch, and there's more that I didn't actually uh, discuss. You know, there's there's other notes and changes you can look and read through if you so wish. Uh, but yeah, this is a this is a great step in the right direction this is a new breath of life for the game i'm very appreciative of it i'm hoping that there's more in the near future i'm, I'm hoping that there are more fixes now that we feel like we're in a, a 
proper space with balance, like hopefully we're going to move into the more important things like server connections and, and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, once again, thank you for watching. Have a great day. I will see you guys in the next one.